All right, guys. Today we've got a new video. Welcome back. Uh, today is my birthday, so I thought I'd start out with an unboxing. So I got this about a week ago, and I wanted to wait till my birthday hits so that I can open it and share with you guys. All right, let's see what we got. For all you sneakerheads out there, you should know what the shoe is. If not, you're missing out. Let's toss this. All right. Oh my God. Dude. Check these out. Look at this. Oh man. These are the New Balance 550s. The Ame Leon Dor collab with New Balance. These are fire. Awesome. Very fire. Nice. So, for those of you who don't know, I really love shoes. Uh, I have, I think I love it too much and I might have a problem. And yeah, I'll show you, I'll show you, I'll show you what I mean. Take you with me. All right, guys, you can see this is my room. All right, look at this. I have so many shoes. Look at this. And then there's more shoes over here. Yeah, I have, I have a problem. All right, guys. Now, now that's, a, that's over with. Oh, shoot. Oh, don't think that was supposed to do that. All right, welcome back guys to another video where I'm just going to just go over the photos that I took of my friends. Uh, we had a casual photo shoot, uh, somewhat, you know, of a fashion photo shoot, I would say. It's with two friends, uh, two different times, and my second or third time uh, shooting with the Pentax 67. And yeah, I just wanted to see if, you know, if I could take this camera and, you know, to do some film uh, fashion photo shoots. So just decided to go ask my friends to do photo shoots and whether they were down to, you know, model for me. So it's a good thing to have friends that, that can model for you. Yeah, these were all shot in Portra 160. And yeah, let's let's go. All right, so the first photo uh, is, is my friend Esther. Uh, shout out to her. Uh, just being down uh, so this photo is like really clean really nice um, I didn't when I got the results back from the from developing I was really impressed as to how the colors re were rendered out so if you kind of look at this photo uh, you can see that it came out pretty pretty clear pretty sharp and you can see you know everything's in focus like she's in focus and yeah I just really like how like the greens are portrayed and also just like her skin tone. Um, this was shot in the shade, so I had to expose for her. So, and yeah, it came out pretty nice. So this photo was in direct sunlight and it, I guess it really looked, really, it looks really nice. Um, when I usually shoot with my digital camera, I tend to avoid harsh daylight. So I, I, I like to shoot during golden hour. So either sunrise or sunset, but because we are shooting, I think this was around midday, like maybe 1 p.m. Uh, 2. Uh, I guess I was a little bit hesitant on doing, on seeing how harsh daylight renders on film. But uh, I think the reason why I like shooting film is because of its dynamic range and to be able to retain the detail in the highlights and also the shadows. So just being able to see that the, a photo like this uh, render really nicely in the sunlight uh, gives me another reason to shoot film. So it doesn't it doesn't limit me to just shooting during golden hour. So this yeah same thing same photo kind of similar uh, environment where she's she's on the dock and uh, I just had her pose in front of the, of the in, in the sun for yeah for usually for film I like to pose people like. Uh, facing the sun 
so that the light is pretty even on their on their body and on their face. So I mean, nothing too much. Like it renders the shadows and the highlights really nice. Um, everything, no, no, everything's in, uh, properly exposed and no loss of detail. Wow, <laughs> she looks really mean. She looks. She has an RBF. Um, I probably should have told her to smile for this one. But yeah, I, I feel like this photo is okay. I thought it would be, when I first, when I shot it, I thought it was going to be something different. Um, but yeah, it just looks really muted. Um, and you can't really see too much of her eyes. It's kind of, you know, kind of blends in with the shadows. Honestly, I think direct sunlight, at least for Portrait 160, looks better, in my opinion. So, maybe next time I'll shoot more of in in the light instead of in the, sh in the shade. So, with all film, and with me experimenting uh, with the Pentax and how well the light meter works, because at this point, I still didn't know how the light meter works. So, these two photos are prime examples of your shots that ne that don't go well um honestly in my opinion these are pretty trash <laughs> to be to be honest not all my photos are are nice that i like um the, you know the one on the left uh it's pretty i don't know it's just weird expo ex it's a weird exposure it's a really i guess tricky situation with both the sunlight and uh, i guess being backlit and also in the shade so it was kind of hard i guess for the camera to pick up uh, I guess I forgot how to meter Well, I didn't know how to meter this situation um, But you know, just you gotta learn trial and error, right? The, the one on the right I th Okay, that's a funny story It's a really, a, it's a small quirk when it comes to the Pentax 6.7 Especially the mirror lockup version So I don't know if you can see this But there's a small button right here um, Like right here Where Cause I don't have a grip on this side, so I usually hold the camera like this. So sometimes my knuckle hits this button, and it basically locks the mirror up. So when you look through the viewfinder, it's black, and because it's holding the mirror in place. So pretty much, you're supposed to press that once you know your composition and you have everything in focus already, and you're not supposed to move. But I didn't know what it did, or I accidentally pressed it when I wasn't ready at all. So basically, it re it just puts the mirror up until I press the shutter. So I pretty much blindly guessed, and that was why it was underexposed and also out of focus. So you learn, you live and learn. It always happens to me at least once per roll, which is really bad. You know, it's kind of a waste of money. Um, her shot because that's you only get 10 shots all right moving on ne next one is okay this is this next photo is probably one of my favorites from this photo shoot uh it's this photo came out really nice uh it's really clear and almost looks digital i would say and it really renders the shadows and the highlights really nice like everything's perfectly even and there's a um, the dynamic range, man, of, of film, medium format film continues to impress me. Like I, you can't even do this with digital. Like you have to do a lot of photo manipulation, like post processing, to get this. So to be able to just get this right out of camera is wow, chef's chef's kiss. <laughs> so this one's also in the shade. Uh, we I literally just we I literally just walk, we just walk around and. Uh, just find spots to shoot at and this was just under the tree and yeah as you can see i tried to frame her with all the different branches uh, within just that's around her in the background but yeah i really like how i guess sometimes uh the shade uh renders these photos really nice as well so this next photo i kind of like i have mixed feelings about this um but this one was also backlit and um, it looks out of focus, but I guess, I don't know, there's some kind of like haze where the sun is, where it's shining behind her. Um, but at the same time, it's like, I kind of like the haze, but I don't, I don't hate it, but I don't love it. 
Um, so it's it's interesting, uh, you know, interesting composition as, as well as like the, how the colors came out. Um, but yeah, I, I, overall, I kind of like how it's like very golden hour-y. So it's like this one, yeah, this one shot more closer to golden hour. So I really like, I really like that. Look at these two photos. So I'm still trying to get, you know, trying to get into scanning or yeah, digitizing my own film. So me and my friend, we were trying to figure out like why one time we scan it, it looks one way. And then the second time we scan it, it looks another way. So I use, yeah, I scan my film using a digital, uh, digital camera. So. I take pictures of the negative and and then put it into Lightroom and use Negative Lab Probe to convert the negative. So, yeah, it just like both pictures, are they both the exact same picture, but it looks different. Like one of them looks sharper than the other. I don't know if you can tell uh, from here, but I don't know, is it the left or the right? I feel like which one. I, the right looks sharper. And we've done the, the exact same way. Another thing that I'm, I'm a total noob at when, I hand, when, I'm, when it comes to handling negatives, I feel like, so this blotchy spot on the top left of this right photo is probably where I touched it with my fingers. I, I, I don't think I was wearing gloves because it was in sleeves and I had to use my nails to kind of like drag the negative out of the, the film, the sleeve to get it out. I probably touched it. So I think when you know when you go through most of the film photos later on in this video, you'll see that. So don't I'm learning. <laughs> so please. next time I'll be a lot cleaner, I promise you. Also this this next one is these are two of my I guess my runner-ups from the shoot. Uh, I just really like how um, the for the left photo I really like just how the colors were uh, portrayed and re or rendered and how clear it is. And yeah, I don't know, I just like very candid portraits of people, um, which is why I like to shoot strangers because you, you don't really have to pose them. You just kind of like tell them to do whatever and you just take their picture. So yeah, I really like like it when it's really candid and natural. And yeah, just we just found really cool basketball court kind of in the middle of a, kind of a, a apartment, like a uh, residential area. And then the right photo also liked also like you had leading lines of the concrete in the middle and a bunch of garages so in the, the fact that we just ran into this and i was like oh i really like this composition so i really got snapped it snapped the shot and yeah it turned out really nice all right so this next photo these next pictures are from my photo shoot with my friend joey um he wanted you know some pictures of his outfit so i was like all right i'm down i'm i really like i like fashion so being able to shoot just fashion photography and also yeah just be able to be his photographer really, really it's pretty it's a nice privilege if you have stylish friends it's nice all right so and you can see like pretty pretty cool outfit to be honest i'm not gonna lie so he has his color the shirt matches his shoes the jordan ones uh unc's and um yeah i just kind of like how it's just more uh more casual laid back kind of shoot not really too much posing uh it's more of like like fit pics kind of style where you you always look down at the camera you're basically you're never looking at the camera and yeah because uh, i just like how the photos uh the color or the color uh is rendered uh again this role was also shot in portrait 160 so really nice so yeah, like I think this spot he my friend wanted to shoot. He found this uh, pretty cool aban not abandoned. It's yeah, it's, it's pretty much abandoned. Uh, kind of like laundry, laundry mat, kind of cleaners, kind of uh, place. And uh, we kind of shot there to kind of give like more of a hipster like uh, vintage look. So I like usually I shoot uh, portrait well like vertically. But this one, I kind of ha I wanted to capture the the environment more, so I kind of I did more horizontal or landscape to capture the, the whole picture. I, yeah, and I really fell in love with the spot and you know the his outfit and just the whole overall vibe kind of fit what we were going for. So next photo uh, is more close up now, more focused on his outfit, um, but still full body. 
so yeah i don't really know <laughs> apparently there's there's like certain poses that people have in within the fashion community and the one on the left is the perfect example of it i don't know what he's doing it's like he's trying to step on an ant while it's a sunny day he can't see <laughs> kind of pose you can see at the, over at the top of the picture and the, the fingerprints i guess from me handling and manhandling the negatives i really like the right the one on the right i think the most um it's more of like the godfather kind of kind of vibe like you're just sitting there kind of mugging the camera and everything was super clear super focused kind of the light was just right again it's again shooting in golden hour so the, the, this last photo really like emphasized my the point of shooting in broad daylight this is great like i love, love portrait 160 it's probably my favorite of the of all the film stocks that i've used does not it's not saying much i only shot fuji film pro and portrait 160 <laughs> but i so far i really like how 160 looks and yeah just these two photos are just a prime example of how good the dynamic range is on film on uh, is on film and yeah to come out this clear and this in focus really it's really good really nice well i mean now that we've gone over just you know just what, what film can do in terms of uh fashion photography i think i'm definitely curious um to bring i guess my pentax to uh i guess one of the more planned fashion photo shoots like with a legit model and you know with like just being i used to, i shoot digital usually for those kind of shoots but i don't know just after seeing these pictures I actually want to take I want to actually get a full photo session from the Pentax uh, of you know what what it can what, so yeah I just kind of want to try that in my next photo shoot so I don't have any behind the scenes for these photo shoots but definitely next time now that I know what I want to do with this channel I'm going to bring along the, the digital camera as well to kind of film more of like behind the scenes stuff so it'll be, it'll be nice of you to like the video and subscribe and thank you so much for watching. I'll see you next time.